Yo, what's up, man? That's Smart. Should have bring up a Smart Talk segment. I'm on my minute swag today. I got the hoodie on. I got, you know, you feel me? I got the hoodie on, even though it's 85 degrees outside. You, know, you feel me? I got I got to support the bros. You know what I mean, next time I'm going to have, like, a... The video's going to be turned, so it looks, like, big. I'm going to have a snapback on. It's lit. Anyway, uh... Let's get into Smart Talk. So let's get into the news. Uh, this is a little bit a better, um... Week than last week. Last week was a terrible fucking news week. Um... Let's uh, let's get into it. Um, what I want to start, we have a whole list of things to fucking talk about. Um, let's start with um, the big news. Well, one of the big news stories uh, of the week. Um, and I'm trying to shit the fuck down. What the hell is this thing? Um, it was. There's a rumor circulating right now that. TNA has been, it's WWE has placed a bid on TNA. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, it, I don't know how I feel about that. You know, WCW was bought out by WWE. It had a whole bunch, a whole heap of fucking talent that you could bring in and be top guys over there. But if you look at WWE right now, I mean TNA right now, and if they were to, if you were to take that roster and put it on WWE television, how many of those guys would be successful? How many of those guys would be top stars over here? Um, well, well, in WWE, not over here, but in WWE, you have Broken Matt and Jeff, you have Aaron Rex, you have um, Lashley, you got Mike Bennett, you got EC3, um. struggling to find more names. Cody Rhodes possibly on the way there. It's a lot of guys over there that left WWE, WWE for specific reasons. Um, Wade Bear might be going over there too, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of, oh, oh, I know Bear's going to ring, Bear's going to ring long. Um, but it's a lot of reasons why niggas left there. And if you just take them and put them right back on WWE, how would that work? I don't know if that'll, I don't know if that'll, um, I don't know if that'll necessarily work. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one for me because besides those six or seven guys at the top of the card, you don't really, you know, have a whole big, hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. A whole big uh, heap of talent to integrate in. There would be some guys that would help out the mid card and shit like that. But you know, it's never. It's not gonna be how um, w, the when WWE bought WCW because it simply doesn't have the talent there. Um, w, uh, TNA is improving. It's not a bad product. Actually, the Impact shows are better than Monday Night Raw. I'm just gonna say it. So if you're if you aren't watching. Um, if you aren't watching TNA Impact and you're watching fucking Monday Night Raw, you're actually cheating yourself. Um, so I guess it could be, it could help with like, so we don't have five matches on a fucking two hour pay-per-view. But it also is like, how would the, that wouldn't help a lot of these guys in the long run. It wouldn't help a lot of these guys in the long run because... They just left there. Like, they like. Why would you want to go back? I personally don't think it'll happen. Um, I, that that's just me. I don't feel like that will that WWE. I, I, only way, the only reason I would want this to happen is so that WWE can get the TNA video library. And then they can start mentioning the guys that came from TNA on the program. It's just like, they just say, oh, they've been seasoned veterans and never mentioned what they did in this in TNA. It was like, was a hot promotion for a long time. Um, you know, and also the video library is very extensive. and has lots of, lots of shit. Like, back in the glory of the TNA would be great to see. Um, so I could, you know... Um,
Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't really like this because I don't really. I don't really believe in the TNA talent. But um, also, it. I just. You know, I just. I feel like the guys that are over there thriving in TNA are doing it. And they need to continue to thrive in TNA. Don't fuck it up now by putting them back in WWE, where in situations where. You know it. You know. It wouldn't benefit these guys to go back. So why would they go back when they're having, they're making, Drew Gallo is another one. They're making the most money um, they've ever made in their careers. They're doing well. Why go back? Um, Monday Night Raw, we had a triple threat to start the match between Bailey, Sasha Banks, and um, Dana Brooke. Um... I was wondering why Dana Brooke was just thrown in there by slapping Charlotte. It didn't really make sense. Um, so they can save Sasha and Bailey because we need that to be protected. Need that to be saved. It's like the Shield Triple Threat. Should have saved that for a bigger pay per view. Could have saved it for SummerSlam or something. Um, we need that to be saved. We need that match to be on a big grand scale <sighs> or a big you know pay-per-view with a lot of hype around it and build around it because for guys like me rest of fans period like me it's a match that is absolutely incredible and it needs to be protected we've seen these two you see it just in the triple threat match where they both were in the ring that's the hype the crowd got and you know it it's important. It's a big match, and both these girls can can absolutely. They have amazing chemistry in the ring, and it helps. And, and and we need matches like that. We need to have these big matches. Let's like to protect AJ Styles versus John Cena, and then just throw it on a fucking Monday Night Raw. You know. They protected that match, and um. You know, um. I think that's the right decision. Um. Also, with all four shoulders being down, that was supposed to not be mentioned for some reason. I don't know. They they want to make it. They don't want to do the triple threat. They want to do the Charlotte versus uh, Sasha. Um, I don't know if Bailey's the next in line for a title shot. I don't know. Maybe Nia Jackson like that. I don't know. But we'll see how this plays out tonight. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, let's talk about page i came on here uh where it was first reporter she was suspended i thought she was done absolutely fucking done in wwe i thought she was gone i thought it was over for her i thought she was, I thought she was gonna be in tna we're gonna go on a ground for summer um turns out not the case page is actually returning to wwe and all this whole thing about she was hiring a legal team. <sighs> My fault. That she was hiring a legal team and she was getting a whole gang of fucking lawyers to sue the shit out of WWE and all this shit. Turned out to be not the case. Um, she was in Texas with Alberto Del Rio at the time of her scheduled drug test and yeah she couldn't get there in time the sample was late she was spending for 30 days um yeah yeah that uh so it wasn't coke it wasn't um well it was it was crazy things on uh online saying that um Paige Del Rio and even Ray were sniffing coke and you know Roman Reigns was doing it too and all that type of shit and no you know uh, I think Roman Reigns is positive for Adderall even Marie I believe her sample was late as well as Paige's and Del Rio was suspended for a testosterone replacement uh you know um he tested positive for uh his his he had an elevated testosterone level, which, of course, hints at a performance-enhancing drug. Um, 
he did also fail a steroid test with that right there. Um, he's all, I don't, I don't, I, he, he looks like he's in the best shape of his fucking life. So I don't understand why he would choose now to, to do that. Maybe that's something he was doing before. Um, who knows? Who, who fucking knows? Um, I just wish that, um, I wish all these people the best in their careers. Eve Marie we, is a great fucking hero, and I'm ready to see that interest back. Hopefully, she comes back on Tuesday. There's also news that she might not be coming back immediately after her suspension. She has a movie role coming up soon, either now. Either she will um, be doing that movie and then coming back, or... <sighs> either that, or she will um, come back for a short period of time and then leave again. Who knows? Um, yeah. For all, the, for all the Emma fans out there, she returned at a live event as a special guest referee for every other woman on the Raw roster in a six-man tag. Heels versus faces. Um, Emma returned as a special guest referee. Hopefully, she shows off Monday Night Raw and, uh, you know, maybe uh, she 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 puts herself in a uh, little in the title picture. You know, maybe uh, Charlotte's out there talking, and you know, she just comes out, and you know, Dana Brooke looks all surprised and shit, and she like just stands in the middle and looks back and forth, and who knows? I that's how I would do it. Well, maybe maybe put Emma and Bailey against each other. That could also fucking work. That that could that could fucking work right there. Actually, forget the fuck I fuck, fuck said before that. Um, yeah. That um, you know it's great to see Emma back. She's definitely very talented, and we definitely need uh, more girls on this fucking on this roster. Period. It's just it's it's getting to a point where there's nobody, and uh, we we definitely I would maybe would saw go to SmackDown because they kind of need it need it, but that division is kind of getting you know it's tears and you know we're familiar with it it's been built very fucking well um way better than Ross Ross is a fucking old jumbled up fucking mess but mostly because of Sasha Banks injury but still it's all fucked up um yeah Jack Swagger soft Monday Night Raw the little interview saying, it's no secret, Tom Phillips says, it's no secret that your raw uh, contract is close to, coming close to an end. Why the fuck would they have drafted him and put him on a fucking two month, what the fuck, since that, whatever. And Jack Swagger just looked at him and said nothing. Sm uh, Smackdown Live, Tuesday night. Jack Swagger, uh, Baron Corbin, and Apollo Crews. We're supposed to have a match. Ended up in no contest of Baron Corbin fucking decimated a ball cruise outside the ring. Jack Swagger comes out and says, you don't know Jack. Uh, forget everything you've ever thought about me and everything's going to be fucking different now. He didn't say fucking, but everything's going to be different. And blah, 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 blah. Bunch of, a whole bunch of mumble jumble. I don't give a shit about. I'd rather see Jack Swagger fight. I'm tired of his, his fucking lisp. Pisses me to fuck off. Um, you know, um, he's supposed to get a solid push. You know, I'm Jack Swagger is a talented in ring performer, so I'm for that. You know, if you want to give, if you want to give um, him a push, it's fine. Put him in the mid card. I don't know about him taking the title off of Miz. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be a heel or a fucking face. We don't, we, I don't. I honestly don't know what the fuck. I, he, I guess he's a face. The last few that I have of him was against Del Rio, so I don't know. Um, maybe he could give Miz a good match, but I think they're gonna do the Miz and Ziggler thing again, which I have also have news on. Talk about that in a couple, in a couple minutes, but um, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with those, with uh, Jack Swagger. Hopefully he gets a push. Um, he's a two-time world champ, isn't he? 
I think. So hope they can bring some legitim some uh, some belief back in him. Push him back up to upper echelon, upper tier. Uh I mentioned Miz and we'll talk about Miz now. Uh Miz isn't fucking going to This is more like a, a I don't there really isn't any, ugh, there really isn't any news on this just yet. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some breaking this week. Um it's upcoming week. But Miz isn't leaving fucking SmackDown Live. Like There's rumors going around that the crew that SmackDown's in the Cruiserweight division, and a lot of people think that they're just gonna trade the whole Cruiserweight division for fucking Miz and Intercon. That that would make the Cruiserweight division look so fucking bad. It would it would kill it. It would kill it if you trade ten fucking guys, a whole fucking division of wrestlers for one guy and one championship. You know how bad that would make the Cruiserweights look. Do you know how that that would fucking bury them? We use the term "bury" a lot. That would bury them. That they would look so fucking weak and disgusting and awful. It it wouldn't be worth it to have him fucking have matches. I feel like they're just evading this Daniel Bryan and Miz storyline, which is fine, all good. One of the best things in his company going right now. Um, in regards to the crewmate division, uh, rumors are circulating that Jack Gallagher, of all guys, of all guys in the crewmate division, not Cedric Alexander, but Jack Gallagher is getting a push on the, um, New is getting a push uh, towards the top of the group A division, and he will be, he could possibly be facing, um, whew, neck is cramping, could possibly, could possibly be facing uh, the new Cruiserweight champion, TJ Perkins. Um, of course, we all know TJ Perkins is a, won the CWC tournament after defeating Grandma Talik. Um, in a final, uh, to become the WWE's first, there's no, uh, the lineage of the title is going to now, it doesn't go back to 2007, Orange Squaggle is taking off the books as a fucking cruiserweight champion, thank God, TJ Perkins is the first WWE cruiserweight champion, um, I'm all for it, TJ Perkins is great in ring, um, hopefully they give these guys time to fucking wrestle and don't put them in six man tags and shit. Um take some of those promo take some of that promo time away. Give these guys ten minutes to wrestle. It's a three hour show. You can put three ten minute matches on that's thirty minutes right there. That's thirty minutes. You got two hours and thirty minutes to do the rest of the bullshit that you want to do all fucking promos and commercials. Give these guys time to wrestle. Um Also, uh, I was talking about CWC. Um, it was seen. Uh, Kalisto was seen there at the CWC uh, finale alongside Rich Swan, Jack Gallagher, Sasha Banks. Rick, am I listening to somebody? I don't think I'm listening to anybody. Uh, yeah, he was seen with them. Kalisto is dealing with a back injury currently. That's why he's not been on SmackDown. Um, hopefully, he heals up and returns. I, I hope this is another one of those brand trade where he goes to, he goes to Raw because he'd be better suited with those guys that are doing the um the um the cruiserweight whole thing. He'd be great over there with them. Instead of just going over here and SmackDown getting beat up by fucking all the big guys. Um That's all about Kalisto, man. I don't really have much on that. I just know that he's on a he has a back injury. It's, he's been out for like almost a month, or a month plus, I think, I don't know. Um, I don't know the exact date, but he has, he's a little back injury. We all seen how those back injuries have gone in the past. A lot of people have been dealing with back injuries. Um, hopefully he heals up, returns. Um, I feel like he's going to do, they're going to do something with him. I feel like they'll do like some type of something with him. Um, as you know, he's, he's, he's good in the ring. He's exciting to watch. Um. Hopefully that leads to great things for him, and uh, we'll see him back on SmackDown yes, uh, soon. Uh, all you AJ Styles fans out there, like me, uh, as of today, AJ Styles is expected to have a lengthy title run. I'm not expect to drop it anytime soon. The company is 
over the moon with AJ Styles. They, everybody thinks that Cena's been promoting this 16, this, this, he wants to get the record for, um, the most title reigns, and he'll get it, he'll get it, but I just don't think it'll be right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just such an AJ Styles fan, man. He He's just so fucking good. <laughs> he is just so fucking good, and he's so talented, and he's done so well since he became a, a heel. Um, and something I, I didn't really think that he would um, really succeed as a heel. I didn't think he could do it. Um, I saw him in Japan, but I thought they would kind of like water him down as a heel. And they would kind of water his moves, set down, but he's still the fucking best wrestler on planet Earth. So, um, he can do anything he needs to. Anything he fucking needs to, to succeed. Um, any heel, face, tweener, doesn't matter. He can do it all. AJ Styles is the fucking best in the company. He is also going to be your WWE world champion for a very long time, folks. Well, it's that time of the year. Uh, this yearly rumor of the Shield every it's every single year since they broke up. Actually, more than every year. Every four or five months. It's a rumor about the Shield re reuniting or a possible uh, Shield uh, little reunion spot or something like that. I'm not an Ambrose fan. Roman needs to be a heel. Seth Rollins is the fucking man. I, 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 I'm a big fan of the Shield, so I guess it could work if it was like, so maybe I don't know about Survivor Series. Maybe the Royal Rumble. Maybe the Royal Rumble could work. Um, they're all clearing house, and then, you know, just randomly, just you know, they're all in the ring, and they clear house, and they just look at each other, and all put their fists in the ring, and then the whole crowd goes fucking ballistic. You know, it would it would be great, but, um. I just heard this too many times. I just heard I heard this before the brand split up that the shield's gonna get back together and they're gonna be blah 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 and blah 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 and you know they had the spot last year. I forgot what match what match was it? What fucking match was it? They had a they had the spot last year with triple bomb, power bomb. I think was it Lesnar? Might have been Lesnar. Threw a fucking through the fucking announce table. Somebody did the fuck, who the fuck was that? That's gonna make me mad, but whatever. They power bombed somebody through the fucking announce table. And the whole crowd went fucking nuts. Um, little teaser. I loved it. I loved it. Um, something similar to that, I'd be cool with it. But don't go with the whole full-on shield reunion. All three of these guys have made some other careers off of that. They've all grown besides Ambrose. Roman and Seth have grown since the shield. They've shown that they can work on their own. On their own. I don't know about fucking Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose used to be a fucking Mick Carter, but you know, um, I'd be all for like a, a Shield reunion spot. I'll be, I'll be, that would be cool. Um, uh, I think that I'm gonna close this out with some Shelton Benjamin news. Um, No, we're going to talk about Triple H after this, and then we'll talk about Shelton Benjamin. Um, we're going to talk about Shelton Benjamin first, and then Triple H in a second. Um, Shelton Benjamin underwent successful surgery on September 7th. He's expected to take seven, uh, six months to recover. There was talk at this week's WWE television events that there was, there's still interest from WWE's part and Shelton Benjamin when he recovers. Um... Vince and Triple H are both fans, big fans of him, and the roster needs him desperately. Um, you know the whole team angle thing, and he's he worked for the company for eight years, um, Intercontinental Champion, um, United States Champion, 
you know, and, you know, he's a great worker, very underrated. I feel like he didn't get the credit he deserved um, for his at his work and his skill because he was great in the ring. He was very talented. Um, it'll be great to have him back. It'll be great. Um, hopefully he does come back. Um, maybe around like Mark, maybe like WrestleMania or something like that. Um, maybe that after WrestleMania he could return, something like that. But six, six months to recover, that, for, that unfortunately means he won't be in the Royal Rumble um, unless he feels like John Cena. You know, but I hope all the best for Shelton Benjamin. Hope he uh, returns healthy and better than ever because the roster needs you, buddy. Uh, Actually, you know what? Let's talk about Randy Orton. Let's talk about Randy Orton and his in-ring status. How WWE tried to cover up his fucking concussion. I don't know why the fuck they would try that. I guess because they don't think that Lesnar is a fucking animal. Um, But it looks like Randy's hurt. Like, seriously injured. Not seriously injured, but, like, actually hurt. Not just, like, a little kayfabe thing. But, um... Um... Let's see. I don't know. He was. I don't understand WWE logic. He was cleared for the match against Wyatt. Against Bray. Why? And he. And they gave us Kane and Bray Wyatt instead of just giving us Randy and Bray. I don't understand that. He was cleared. To return, and he took some butts in a lot. He took some bumps in a lot of event in Missouri. But why don't put on Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton? Why? Why not? Why? Why the fuck not? Why? Why not? Why not? Why not? You know, um, I just don't. I don't understand this company. I don't understand this company and the thought process goes behind things. Oh, Randy, you're cleared? Oh, we're not gonna put you in this match. We're gonna put, uh, you come out there, RKO, Bray, and he fucking loses the game. For what? What does that do for Bray Wyatt? How does that make me believe that Bray Wyatt can beat Randy or if he loses the fuck, if he got his shoulders pinned to him by fucking Kane? What? How, man, fuck. Um, quick little Johnson update. He's still expected to be, uh, he's still expected to leave Take some time off um, in October to a four to a four. I just say it to a four to record um, American Grit, the show he does. I think it's on Fox. I never watched it. Um, a lot of people probably did because of John Cena on it. I didn't watch it. Whatever. Uh, so that also lead, that also goes into the AJ Styles that they had earlier, but he is a. He is rumored to be a champion for a long time, um, and really Ambrose is just there. Nobody really, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody really expects Ambrose to win a title back. Um, poor Dean, you know, if, if you know, they need to turn Dean heel. Honestly, if Dean becomes a heel, it, it, it'll all work out if he becomes a heel. But um, right now, it's not working for Dean. But Cena is still um, rumored to leave in October. Hopefully, uh, he gets that done quick. He comes back. Even AJ Styles kind of the title with him for somebody, you know, something. Um, John definitely puts asses in seats. He's definitely improved as a rest as an ring performer. And because uh, John fucking Cena, need him, need him around. Um, last, <clears throat> last but not least. Triple H. As seen on Raw a couple weeks back, Triple H made his return to WWE programming and helped assist the greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth, Kevin Owens, in his win over Seth Rollins Marine and Big Cash to win the WWE Universal Championship. Triple H has yet to return. He's been ever since that action, ever since that action, ever since. That action or those actions, he has not been seen or heard of on WWE TV. He was seen at the Cruiserweight Classic, giving out the title, but 
Triple H, well, Paul Levesque, the executive, you know, that guy, backstage guy, that guy is totally different from WWE, from Triple H's in-ring character. Um, we see Becky Lynch post a picture of her, of them two. That's different from Triple H being out there in the ring. I hope you understand that because Triple H just does so much, you know, the guy shows up at NXT events and says, we are NXT, and uh, takes all these pictures of all these NXT, guy, NXT uh, guys and girls when they win the titles. Uh, that's not the guy that is going, that we're looking for to appear on Monday Night Raw. What we're looking for is the game. We're looking for triple fucking H. We're not looking for Paul Levesque, the wrestling, the, 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 the executive. Um, it's two completely different characters. It, it's WWE has made that and it's shown that, and I like that. I do, I do like that. I do like that. Um, so it's not like Triple H has to fucking disappear off the face of the earth when he's not, you know, when he's not around. Um, yeah. I, I, it, it said that he was going to return soon, possibly as early as Class of Champions. I want to see the follow-up. I'm anxious to see how this leads to something else. Um, last year, there was plans, Triple H versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Rollins with double knee injury. Obviously couldn't do that. So possibly, you can see Triple H versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 33. Which would be absolutely fucking phenomenal. I love it. I love it if it happened. Um, hopefully it does. Um, hopefully everybody stays healthy this time. We need to get the match. We, so we can actually get the match we fucking want. But uh, we'll see. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Smart Talk. That is a long ass fucking video. 32 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go make some breakfast. I'm hungry as shit. Uh, Raw's on night. Um, I believe the bro, Mez or Biggs, got you tonight on the live tweets for that because uh, Monday Night Football's on and the Philadelphia play. Sorry. Uh, which means I'll take over for SmackDown tomorrow. Um, and which everyone doesn't tweet. Raw, tweet. NXT. Well, NXT, well only NXT. There's no CBC, CBC now. So they'll tweet NXT. Um, yeah. We have to find something else to do on Friday. So, because it's no CWC, we need that, we need that day to be filled with something. But, um, yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Smart Talk. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you got any news and rumors that you want to, that you want to put direct towards me, tweet them to me at Chuck the God. It's, you know, or at Internet Smart Squad. You got any, anything you want to talk about with us, we're here to talk about it. Um, thank you guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at InternetSnarks1 for all news, rumors, and updates for everything WWE, as well as live tweets for all WWE programming.